I'm Vic Hoti, and over the past three decades, learning, training, and researching the martial arts has been my life's passion. In 2017, I had a life-threatening illness, and using all of the attributes I had developed through diligent martial arts practice, and in particular the Wing Chun system, I was able to make a full recovery. As a result, I wanted to do a project to give back to this wonderful style of Kung Fu. It's because of this I made the decision to take my students over to China to interview the leading experts of the main lineages of Wing Chun, all in an effort to bring some clarity to the system, especially as there are many outside influences detracting it from its true essence. In the following videos, I'll be asking a series of questions to the various Sifus to get a better understanding of the history and establishing a baseline for what the Wing Chun Kung Fu system really is. Nothing. Never. Okay. No. Now, again, when you say, uh, previously people relate that with Fujian, mm -hmm. Fujian Xiaolin, and burn down of Fujian Xiaolin. Mm -hmm. Now, more and more studies show that there's no burn down of Southern Shaolin. Mm -hmm. There's not a Shaolin, Southern Shaolin temple as such in Fujian. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and obviously, before, before this year, I cannot argue that. Right? Mm -hmm. I cannot argue that. Because there's no written documentation as such. And people said that Qi Xin, after burn down of Fujian, Southern Shaolin, he fled to Guangdong. Right? But then, with the Thaloi Temple, now, Jisin uh, was part of the Thaloi Temple. And Thaloi Temple was burned down in, 18, uh, in 1854, somewhere like that. Right? Dang Bun. It's already that time he was, he was learning, before, before the burn down. So, how could that be from something else. Now what I think of, now this is only my thinking, uh, Xin, because this is a self-defense technique. So this incorporates a lot of the fundamentals of many, many, many important stuff. Now this, how does it, you, you, you see this? Mm. Yeah. This is mantis, right? Right. Now of course this one is like the, the crane, mm. right? But then you see a lot of grabs. The, the Wing Chun Kun itself, they have, a, they, they have one of the form, they have things here, mm. right? This is Eagle Claw, right? This Eagle Claw is the control, right? So, what I think is, what I feel, Jisin, Jisin, right? Incorporate all the very basic, important, fundamental hand movements into the form. And basically, it is not a, now when you look at our form, it's not a structured form like the Hong Kong, like the Chinese form. It is more like 11 sets of fundamentals. Mm -hmm. So it should start with some form of fundamental thinking of fighting. So it's control, right? It's beauty, it's a qin ji, right? And, and gradually, they, after that, that incorporates and organize it into a form. So it wouldn't be uh, like inherited from any different thing, but then it inherited from a group mm -hmm. of uh, martial arts and take out the essence. Sure. And because like Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Choi Le Fan, you need five years before you can really be a good fighter. Right? You need all this strength. You cannot learn it in six months. Mm. Right? But then, for the teaching in in in, in Fei Temple, you really cannot have don't have the time because Dang Bun was on an on and off on and off base. So what they want to teach is the fundamental efficient fighting technique. That's mm -hmm. it, and that's how it's generated. And because of the linkage with Fei Fei Lord, so it's less and less. Uh, uh, I would say justifiable to say this is from someone who threat from somewhere else mm. after the burn down. Mm. The burn down, Fedor Temple got a real burn down, historical. Right. Uh, Qigong, he, he, he practiced Qigong before, but then he said no, because it's dangerous. So he, he didn't 
taught us any much, except like some very simple thing, you know, some of the Qigong, right? But then the, I would say, what is internal? Again, as I said, mm-hmm. what is internal? When we relax, when we free ourselves, right? When we free ourselves from a body, from a physical body constraint, it's internal already. So it wouldn't be the cultivation of qi and doing everything from the dantian. That, that's like a different. It's different. Skill. That's different because the, that is kind of like a different kind of qigong, mm. right? But then, like this morning when you see the da something, right? The dancing thing, bah, bah, that is the external, right? Yeah. But then we do this da something is real with X and boom like that, yeah. and and that is what we really think of the qigong. What the people call qigong or Liu internal, we use our our, our internal body movement to generate the movement. So like tendon strength, relaxation, non-reliant yes. muscle power, right. coordination with breath, yes. emptiness yes. of the mind. Yes. Like this, yeah. And then you, because of that, you suddenly, in very short time, you 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 concentrate your your energy mm. to the position where it's in contact. So you. Mental thought as well, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, difficult question, a dangerous question. <laughs> now, when when I learned, when I when I learned, that was in the uh, 1968, and they came to Hong Kong in 1950, early 50 and and 40, 50, and then he stayed in Dada Lan. That time. He was in very, very close relationship with Yiman. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, okay, uh, uh, martial art brothers. And they both came from Fasan. So that time, what people said, Wing Chun and Wing Chun, same family. But then they branched south. But when you see Wing Chun is Bong, Tan, Fok. We use a Bong, we use a Tan, and then we use Fok. Now, in man's form, as you need practice, right? Bong, Tan, and Fok is purely defending. Mm. Right? It's purely defending and to the side. What we did, Bong is forward, Tan is forward, Fok is also forward. So, the difference is only on the concept. We are much more aggressive. We are much more aggressive than what's taught by Yiman. Mm. Right? The, the fundamentals there, center punches, now you guys, you, you guys do a punch like this, we do a punch like this. You guys punch straight, we punch this. This, this, the, 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 the expression is different. A lot of fundamental, right? And there were a lot of, a lot of theory thing that is the same. There was an article by a gentleman called Hui Hoi Yu, who was the deputy chief editor of New Marshall Hero magazine. And then he had written quite a bit of article about, and then he said that was the same. But then later, uh, Liang Zhan and Money Changer Hua, mm. Shan Hua, changed the name to Wing Chun. And there was another article by Heng Chao. Heng Chao made a study and con- contacted uh, 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 Money Changer Chan Hua's descendant. And then he, he said that, find out something Chan Ma Shun when he moved back to his hometown Shun Duck when also he changed his form back to Wen Chun Eternal Spring and what they said was oh, because Wen Chun was related to revolutionists and because they were teaching openly so they, they were very they used the name Wen Chun but then for Tang family, because we are not teaching, mm. we are only here, sort of like very narrow, like a uh, stream. Mm. Then there's low, low barrier about changing the name. And now, before I didn't realize that, but then when, when, when after we kind of fail on, and when fail on was burned down, so there seems to be a reason, a good reason in the old days, I would say, they con- con- consider that this like same wood, different bunches. Mm-hmm. Okay. But now more and more it's like uh, spread out. And particularly when uh, when Yiman becomes so famous that they was not want to have the link. Uh, obviously, I now 
I don't like I don't like a very widespread teaching because it would shift, it change, right? And someone would, for business purpose, change the the change the thinking, change the idea, and then um, it's no good. Now, what my thinking is, we should concentrate more on passion people, passionate people. But then, really want somebody who had good mind, good thinking, because as I said, Wing Chun is dangerous. Whatever you fight, you, 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 we will try to lock down people in, in no time. Mm -hmm. If this goes into gangsters, it's no good. And Tang Ying always said, don't, don't, don't use it to, to cause any like, uh, 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 damages to human life. Because it's the karma, the mm -hmm. bad karma that comes back right, to the Sifu, to the okay to the family so what what my view is i hope that we continue but continue in the hands of good people ah. this is not in this way. Sit back. Stand back. Go one.